Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! Today we'll be painting a simple subject, a relatively simple subject and I chose a simple landscape painting uh, with the fence. So we'll be using a lot, of, a lot of greens and some browns. So to begin with, let me tell you the colors that we will be using for today's landscape. So we have titanium white, ivy green. If you have phthalo green, then you can use that. We have oxide green, cad yellow, black, and burnt sienna. Let's begin now, guys. Let's begin right away because I'm so hyper today. <laughs> so I'm using a 10 by 14 inch canvas panel for this painting. If you want to really uh, copy the exact size, then that's 11 by 14, uh, 10 by 14, sorry. So let's begin now, guys. I'm gonna uh, sketch first the location of our objects so we have some grass um grass field so i'm gonna get my ivy green or you can get your phthalo green and i'm just gonna mark where the horizon um is just like this like that and i'm gonna get again my ivy green gonna mix that with oxide green I'm gonna mix that with some burnt sienna just to tone it down and we're gonna start painting this area with this color we will only be under painting it first so that we get some shadows this is not the actual color. You can also add some black because again, we're doing just the underpainting. So it's, it should be quite darker than the real color of the grass, especially this area. This will be quite darker. We will also be doing some perspective. So this will be a really good study. So again, I'm underpainting it. With some greens and dark greens you can underpaint it with any color that you want as long as they're quite dark and the color is more of like earth color you can use burnt sienna you can use black if you want you can use dark green if you want just like what we're doing now and it doesn't have to be in any particular uh, um, pattern, but I recommend that you do this vertically. You do the brush strokes vertically so that it follows the natural, um, the natural look of grasses, which are normally vertical. We will be doing some random um, directions of the grasses later but for underpainting purposes you can do whatever you want only that I am recommending that you do it vertically already and make sure that the horizon is not super straight make some lines that are quite uh, irregular to suggest some grass from afar or grasses from afar or plants all right now that we've we've underpainted we've underpainted the grassy part i'm gonna make some silhouette of some bushes from afar i'm gonna get my ivy green or taylor green and i'm gonna mix that with black and my green oxide so basically the combination of those three colors i mean three colors so i'm gonna make some tiny bush here I'm 
like that. Okay. And I will also make some suggestions of trees from afar. So I'm going to dab in some dark greens. Again, the, the trees and leaves from afar are too far away from the viewer to suggest some details. So it only or it should only suggest the shapes of whatever it is that is far from the viewer should not really give us the full detail because that would contradict the science of perspective so as you can see i'm just dabbing on some paints i'm not really doing any particular shape i'm gonna get my titanium uh, titanium white and mix that with the existing green that green that i have and make some light um markings light green markings like that all right those are like background trees now okay wash your brush out okay Wash your brush out. Now I'm gonna get my CAD yellow. I'm gonna get my green oxide to get some light muted green. I'm gonna get my white, again CAD yellow, and mix it with your thalo. All right. You can use your um, fan brush. In fact, I've already prepared my fan brush but let me just use this first because I have greens on my paints. So I'm going to dab on some light greens here. As you can see, if you notice how I dab or how I use my brush, I always follow the vertical, um, vertical application so as to imitate the the upright um position of grasses all right now i'm gonna add some tiny bit of black to this green mixture add white to make it more grayish green again add white black like this and you're going to dull it by adding more black again just adjust as as um as soon as you get to this color then you can stop and i'm just gonna yes i'm gonna apply that dull green color near the horizon to suggest perspective i'm gonna make it light Again, you can do horizontal, you can do vertical, but as much as possible, do it vertical. Me, I'm alternating from vertical and horizontal. Just like that. Now I'm going to get my darker greens. I'm going to mix it here. Just a tiny bit, just to make uh things more random and natural like that all right now i'm gonna get my fan brush my fan brush i'm gonna get that and i'm gonna wet my fan brush i'm gonna get my yellow green mix it with yellow and white again green so when you reach this color you can start creating some grass like so just move your um fan brush this manner just like what i'm doing use the tip of the brush to suggest some grasses now i'm gonna get my darker greens and add black 
You can even um, dab just like this so that you create some grass-like um, image. All right now, I'm gonna add white and some burnt sienna to the green to add uh, some interest. that don't overdo this um, highlight highlighting only do this uh, near you like near the viewer we'll be doing the fence a little later Also here and also here this apply just like that all right okay we're gonna leave it that way for now and now I'm gonna do some fence and we're gonna sketch it first and I'm just gonna go straight to my paints in sketching it so I'm gonna use we can use some burnt sienna plus white to make it more visible to you for now for now we will be editing it later so just use light brown or I'm gonna use light brown for teaching purposes to show you how the fence is done this is not the actual color we will be painting over this later so for the fence we will be doing some wooden fence like that just make it quite irregular like that so again I'm just using brown I mean light brown and then here we're going to slant it a bit because again as I told you we will be using or we will be doing some perspective make it quite curvy Again, the lines should not be super straight because we don't want a super straight line. All right, like that. And then here, I'm gonna add another um, wooden uh, fence as you can see I'm doing it really like irregular the shape of the wood and then I'm gonna go here right here And I'm gonna make it quite smaller as you go to the right or as you go to the left sorry <laughs> you make the the fence smaller so that we follow the rule of perspective All right. and the distance between each wood becomes smaller visually not really in reality because again perspective all right let's 
So I'm just gonna make it like that. Make it more irregular. Just like that okay all right just like that it's like that now I'm gonna get uh, I, I was supposed to I was about to call you class <laughs> like class can you get your black <laughs> so just get your black plus burnt sienna and now we're going to make some detailing on the wooden portion on the wooden portion no 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 not wooden <laughs> on the fence <laughs> like that this would suggest some um, a naturalism right naturalism in our painting to suggest also some light Look at how I'm doing it. I'm not really stressing out too much. So I'm just making some dark markings all over this uh, fence. And I'm also outlining the wood by darkening the lower portion of the fence. Yeah. All right. Now I'm not going to wash my brush. I'm just going to get some tiny bit of white and make some gray color and dry brush right here okay i'm gonna get more white here i'm just gonna make it more light apply more white here in here as well so we're just highlighting now just like that All right, I'm gonna wash my brush out again. I'm gonna just turn on the light, guys, because it's getting dark. All right. Okay. I'm gonna wash my brush out again. And I'm gonna get my black. Okay, so get your black. Mix it with mix it with your burnt sienna, and again just um, outline your fence. You can use a finer brush for this one.
just to separate it from the grass. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna make some dark markings right here down the fence to suggest some shadows and depth. Again, you can use your fan brush just like how we did for the how we did the grasses you can also do this but i'm just using my usual brush because i'm just making some depth and we will be going over that later again all right just like that all right what should we shout now Okay, now I'm going to get again my light brown mixture. You can add yellow to that and add a lot of white. So it's like this color. It's like um, yellowish uh, skin tone. And I'm just going to apply that randomly on my fence. Especially here. Like that. And here as well, like that. Okay, I'm going to add burnt sienna to that. just to create some wood-like texture okay i'm gonna add titanium white here Okay, wash your brush out now. Okay, again, get your black. And I forgot to outline the, the fence right here. like that again get your light brown mixture maybe add some more burnt sienna just to fix that again make make the detailing quite random don't um, make super straight lines because we're actually doing some natural thing Okay, like that. Get your black. And again.
like that. Okay, again, your black. Now you can get your titanium white just to make some more highlighting. Wash your brush out. Now, you may get your fan brush again. Let's go back to doing the grasses. So I'm gonna get my oxide green, mix it with cad yellow and white. So it's like this color. I'm gonna get my, mix it with your thalo blue, uh, I mean thalo green, and tiny bit of black to make it like dull you can add more yellow all right and i'm just gonna make some again grass like application here and there you can overlap the grasses you can paint over those fence to make it more natural Okay, I'm gonna add more white to that greeny color. And start, hmm. it's quite thick. So I'm just gonna Make some grass like like that. All right. Oops, it's black. It's black. I applied black accidentally. Okay, now I'm gonna get my burnt sienna and randomly apply it here to suggest some soil. Get back to your oxide green and cad yellow. Again, can use your black and then cad yellow. Just alternate, alternately using those colors. So it's really up to you if you want to make it more muddy or. or like a lot of soil or if you want to make it more um, just uh, grassy it's up to you okay like that okay wash your brush out now we're going to get our titanium white but We'll only be using this for highlighting, so don't overdo this. I'm going to dab on some white here and there. Even um, 
from afar like just suggestive of highlights from afar It's nice. I'm going to get my burnt sienna. Actually, my burnt sienna has a lot of black. And I'm going to water it down and apply it here near the viewer. Apply it to the fence, the portion of which is near the viewer. And make some glazing. Okay, wash your brush out. I'm gonna get some light yellow, light yellow green. I'm gonna dab on here. You can get some black. Okay, get your black, and we're just gonna make some more depth. So apply your black in a way similar to the way you apply your grasses. Okay, here, let's go back to the trees from afar. Okay. Now you can mix that black with the yellow green. Okay. You can add white and then start dabbing it here. Again, to suggest some light silhouette and you can go back to the grass Okay, wash your brush out, get your black, and make some tiny suggestion of detailing. browns and go back to this one let's make it quite light
light and irregular. Mm, this is nice. So again, I'm gonna get because I already ran out of my phthalo green or ivy green. I'm gonna make some yellow green like this. And I'm gonna make some glazing right here. And then I'm just gonna use my fingers to quickly apply the paint just like that. And here as well. Okay, I'm gonna get some more black and more brown. I'm gonna apply that randomly you see, uh, this is how I do um, the soil. I always do this technique very easy and you don't have to stress out so much. It's all about controlling your paintbrush. Okay, I'm gonna make this part quite light. So I'm just dabbing in some suggestion of highlighted grasses. And I'm gonna get again my dark green down here. Oops, it's not dark enough. It's not dark enough. There you go. Okay, wash your brush out now. And I'm just gonna glaze very, like, super quick with white. Use your titanium white and just glaze it here. Here. And even up here, you can even go there. This is nice. This is nice, right? Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Okay, now I think we're done. So I just have to sign it. I'm going to get my titanium white and sign it right here. I think my brush is quite big. Just like that. We're done, guys. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I hope you do this one as well. So see, wait, guys, wait. <laughs> as you know me, gosh. Get your dark brown or burnt sienna plus black. And make some because it's quite weird. That... The fence got painted over with glazing. And then get your white. Alright, okay. So yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you in my next video. Bye guys. Love you. 
Wait, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs>